I first came to Namibia during my military service, but I came up here and stayed in 1967. I had worked with the people before and seen that they had lived harmoniously with the wildlife, and it seemed to me logical that the people that were best placed to conserve the wildlife were the local people that lived with it. Garth came with an idea of conserving wildlife here. And it was not something easy. Because in the past, if a local person hunt, he was like arrested because he poached. So this created the whole problem in the areas because the local people lost that trust. During the 70s, commercial poaching of elephants for ivory and rhino for rhino horn just escalated out of control. There was a war on, there was a liberation struggle, was at its height, and people were into fortress conservation. The communities were seen as the problem, and we came along and said, no, this is the solution. It was a long process from when we started working with local communities, but down the road we were able to change government policy to enable conservancies to be formed, which gave local people both the rights over the use of wildlife, but also the responsibility to manage it sustainably. They now own it, it's theirs, and what you own, you look after. One of our key roles is mentoring and creating opportunities for the younger generation. And people like Boas are the future. I didn't grow up with a father. My father passed away when I was six months old. He let me feel like really he's my father. I learned everything that I know today from Kath. He's a very, very good man. He told me that in conservation, there's no doctor. Even a young, tiny young boy can teach you one thing that you don't know in conservation. So whoever saying something, listen to that person and think. He's one of those people who sees the solution, not the problem. And I think that is a key principle, to not bog down in what the problem is, but leap over that and say, OK, what is going to get this right? One of the biggest mistakes one makes is to see it as a war. But the poachers and us are actually very close. The only difference really between us is which side of the fence we were born. If we had been born in a poor rural community, we probably would have been poachers. The best way to address it is by focusing on the 99% of the population who are not criminals and getting them on our side, which will make it very difficult for the few. Wildlife in most communal areas was down to remnants, and now almost all species are thriving and back to their pre-70s levels. What we have been able to achieve in Namibia is to get the area around the national parks, extending it by doubling the area under conservation through communal conservancy. Thousands of local jobs have been created and the Namibian economy has been boosted by hundreds of millions of dollars. Every country has different problems. We have all the right ideas what we should do and wildlife and other natural resources can contribute to rural development and if it is contributing to rural development, it gives a long-term future to wildlife outside of national parks.